y'all it's t and welcome back to my channel this video that i'll be sharing with you guys on today is a little bit different from what i usually share but i thought i would do something a little bit different so i'll be sharing a little bit of footage from christmas day and the day after so of course v will be opening up her gifts and then we'll show you a little bit of the food that we had my sister and i had a girls day out where we did lots of shopping and then we also went to see the color purple later on in the night make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video because we will be sharing our review on the movie so i hope that you guys enjoy today's video Christmas. Da, 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 da. 
making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of what you say? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Of everything but you, these are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh So here you see V doctoring on her dad. We bought her like a medical kit and she knows exactly what every piece of equipment is used for. It's amazing how smart she is, y'all. And when she goes to her doctor's appointment, the last appointment that she went to, every piece of equipment that her doctor pulled out to use on her, she knew exactly where it went and what it was used for so when it was time to look into her ears she tilted her head to the side when it was time for him to listen to her chest and her back she lifted up her shirt y'all she is just so incredibly smart and i have not shown her any of this because i don't use my medical equipment at home that often and when i do use it she's never been around so she is just mind blowing. Like she blows our mind every single day with how smart she is. So I thought that I would throw this little bit of footage in just so you guys can see her in action. Maybe she's going to be a nurse like me one day. I don't know. Or maybe a doctor. Who knows? But we'll see. Come to me. And when we wake up in the morning, I'm going to play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies in so now I'll be moving on into the food. So I had to mute out a lot of the clips in what you saw previously because of the noise in the background. And then the TV was on. Didn't want to get a copyright strike and all of those good things. But my sister was in the background while we were in the living room with V with her toys and all of that. She was in the kitchen getting our Christmas brunch together. Of course, I came in and helped her. But what you're looking at here are some of the ingredients for the breakfast casserole. We did this casserole last year and it was such a hit that we decided to do it again this year. And this recipe came from smoking and grilling with AB. I will have that video link down in the description box. We did tweak it a little bit by um, sauteing some vegetables and we also added some breakfast ground sausage like the jimmy dean rolls so we added that in layered it all up baked it for an hour and this is what it came out looking like it was so delicious like we did not have any leftovers and um also all of the food that i'll be showing you guys will be featured on my sister's channel if you do not know who my sister is, her name is Simply Cooking with Sean. You will see her in the clips rolling out biscuits, making sausage gravy, the casserole, and some other items. She will be showing the full recipes 
in the weeks to come over on her channel. I will have her channel linked down in the description box if you are interested in checking her out. I will probably also put some of these recipes on my channel in the weeks to come as well. Because that breakfast casserole, y'all, we did not make enough of that because we didn't have any leftovers. So I feel like I need to make another pan so that we can enjoy some more of that. So here you see me making the TikTok cinnamon rolls. Now, I did not have the... Um, Grand's cinnamon rolls, the bigger ones on hand, I use what I had, but they taste just the same. And it's so, so easy. Of course, I will link the video down in the description box for that. But this recipe has been out for, I think, a couple of years now. But these were also a hit, and I was asked to make these again. So what we ended up having for um, Christmas brunch was the breakfast casserole, the cinnamon rolls. I did not show the fruit that we had, but I will show you guys the biscuits and gravy that my sister made. Till the sun comes up, these are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill, isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, 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 Again, this recipe will be featured on my sister's channel as well. And y'all, I offered her a apron several times and she refused it. I don't know what her problem is, but she was like, no, I don't need an apron, but look at her shirt. <laughs> but anyway, she was getting it done. She was in her element. She did not want to stop to even put the apron on. So yeah. And if you do decide to go over and check her channel out, let her know that her little sister T sent you.
So here's a little bit of what we have for Christmas dinner. We had steaks, which were ribeye steaks that we put in the air fryer. We had ribs, which I forgot to get a clip of that. We had a baked potato bar and sweet potato bar. And then I made my famous seafood salad that I was told that I must make it for Christmas because I did not make it for Thanksgiving. But y'all, they gobbled that all the way up it was so so good and i have featured this recipe on my channel in the past if you are interested in how i made it very very easy to make and then for dessert we had um a red velvet cake that i bought from misha's sinful cakes and more um, she is located in South Carolina, well, Columbia, South Carolina, off of Two Notch Road. So if you are in the area, definitely check her out. She is worth every single penny that she charges for her desserts. And this was just a red velvet cake that I bought for, from her without nuts. And then in addition to the red velvet cake, I made my homemade cheesecake that you'll see here in a little bit. And we experimented with a sweet potato cheesecake. Now, it tasted good, but it came out a little thin because we did not have the, re the crust that the recipe called for. But when I tweak it and get it right, I will be showing you guys how I made that. That and that homemade cheesecake I have been making for years. And of course, that was a hit. So here, this is the day after Christmas when my sister and I had our girls day out. And we started out at Home Goods with the after Christmas sales. We found some really, really good items. This is a sale that I have been talking about in one of my previous videos. We always try to go the day after because if you don't, <laughs> your the good stuff may get gone. Now, I mean, it may vary by your area. Um sometimes you know items linger a little bit longer so it's probably not too late to go out to grab items but we went the day after to get the best pick of the items so would you believe that i um was low on tissue paper i was about to run out i had no gift bags for this year for gifts and i did not have any curly ribbons so i got stocked up on all of that stuff and of course all of the prices that i am showing you is 50 percent off of what you see so really really good deals better than the dollar tree in my opinion and these ornaments y'all they were so stinking cute oh my goodness they're like little gold christmas trees so i I know I'll be putting those to use next year. And these were the curly ribbons. I made a few baskets this year. Maybe I'll show you guys how I make my baskets in one of my um, future videos. But those were good to have. And this basket, I'm actually going to use it in the nursery because it goes along with the color scheme that I picked. So I was really excited about that so this is the first cart of items that i picked up at the first store really really good deals y'all and um i love to pick up baking pans because i really need to get rid of some of my old pans and throw in some new ones and these bags were bags that my sister found um, most people put wine in them but if you are giving somebody a mug or a tumbler these are perfect for those as well these are a few blankets that my sister found. They were already marked, but then they were additional 50% off of that. So she snagged both of these for $6 each. That was such a steal because these will make great, great Christmas gifts. And I also wanted to say that the pans, if you um, cook your bacon in the oven, those pans were perfect for that. And of course, you could use it for baking your cookies and things like that. But these towels, they were cute as well. I love the gold detailing on it. Half price, of course. And here I'm just going to show you a couple of the other bags that they had to choose from. Like I said, if you have a home goods, 
definitely make your way out there because you may be able to find some of these goodies as well found these cookie cutters because v and i will be starting to get some bacon in in the future so i want to go ahead and get those on hand and these baskets i will be using in the nursery makeover these were christmas um a part of the christmas clearance so they were a really good deal and of course the color and everything was amazing they were so so cute and here was another um baking set that i found which was uh what four dollars and it came with the pan and spatulas and all of that which was a steal as well here's a mixing bowl i had i still have mine from last year that i haven't even used yet so i left this one and this was the um size of my KitchenAid bowl so that was another reason why I left it and also be sure to check the bags on the checkout aisle because they were also 50% off as well so they were 50 cents each and they were perfect you know to add you can use them as gift bags really but and here are my rewards that I have been telling you guys about with my TJX card. I get rewards back for my purchases that I'll be using today. And I also had a gift card. So that paid for the majority of what I bought. And I was excited about that. So in that clip, you saw our carts. We cleaned up, y'all. So here is the second store. So look for these as well. These will also make great gifts or if you want them for yourselves, these were um, $6.50. And these mixing bowl sets, like I said, I had mine still from, from last year. I love that black one with the gold cookie cutters. It was so cute. Oh my goodness. And that one was, I think it was like $8. Yeah, no, $7.50. $7.50. So yeah, lots to choose from y'all. Definitely check your stores. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys some clips and put some music over it. Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine 
But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come Yeah, let it come Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes so we finish out the night of our girls day out with going to see the new movie the color purple and there is a lot of misconception about the movie about it being a musical which it is but the entire movie is not a musical because i mean they actually act out the scenes that are similar to the original movie that came out in 1980 so it's different i will say that it's different but we thoroughly enjoyed it as you can see they're acting out parts of it but it went along with the scenes which kind of lightened up the scenes like this version was not as harsh and depressing as the original version of the movie so definitely check it out for yourself before you let the, you know, the preconception of, oh, it's a musical. I don't want to see it, you know, deter you from going to see it. It's definitely a must see in our opinion. Another misconception is, oh, it's a remake of the original. Definitely not. Um, You cannot touch a classic. In my opinion, it's actually an adaptation or a fresh new twist as they call it of the broadway musical which was great it may be some things in there that you don't necessarily care for that's with everything right but um go and check it out i mean it's it's, it's some takeaways yeah. from it it's a lot of you know, takeaways. You can see where women have grown. Mm -hmm. Men have grown as well. Yep. Because, I mean, you didn't they ask were. for to marry your um, your wife to for her to be a child under you, mm -hmm. for you to lay your hands on her. No. You're supposed to love her. You're supposed to treat her like a queen. With that, we would have been Ike and Tina in the back of that car because I was going to fight back. Bump that. You ain't finna hit me and I ain't going to hit you back. You must be crazy. You do it. But, but, um, but then Celia told him to do that. Right. But that's right. all she knew. But she thought it was that was that was right. the way. She was like, okay, you supposed to you're supposed to beat that woman to make that woman act right. Both dead. What you supposed to do is you're supposed to respect her. And then she'll act and right. Then she'll act right. <laughs> well, they got it straight now, I guess. A woman wanna be loved and respected. Right. Like a man wants to be I think a, of course he wants to be loved, but I think he wants to be respected more. You know, first and foremost. But then the thing is, if you love one another, you will respect them. That's true. That's true. I like that. I'm going to post my little review on Facebook. And that's the first movie I ever went to when people clapped at the end. Yeah. You know, I felt that. It was like, oh, I want to clap. <laughs> <laughs> and then people started clapping. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to clap too. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I mean, it was, you know, overall, um, it, it's, it's some lessons to be learned from from watching.
mention that. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing is about forgiveness. Oh yeah. I mean, you gotta do this. Like CD forgave. Um, she forgave Al. Yep. Gotta forgive her. Or they ain't gonna forgive you. Yep. Exactly. And he repented. Mm -hmm. I mean, he realized what he what he did was wrong. It was evil. It was. Just because he couldn't have his way. Right. And he was remorseful. Yep. And he did. He brought her family back to her. Yep. He, he could have went to her. She was making money. She could have did it herself. Yep. But he did it. He did it. He did right by her. Yeah. He finally did right by her. So yeah, y'all, y'all definitely have to go and see it. I recommend it. I mean, I'm not even into musicals. I never, well, I take that back. I never really watched a musical before. So I can't even say that I'm in or out of it. But I really liked it. I liked it a lot. But if you have not seen the original movie, what was it, 1985? With Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah Winfrey, yeah, and Danny, Danny Glover, Glover and all of them, you need to watch that first, so you don't be lost, and then go and see the new movie. So yeah, that's our review. It's kind of long, but that's our review. So um, if you do go and watch it, put it down in the comments. Um, you really don't have to let me know what you think. But if you want to share your opinion, that's fine too. We can chat it up in the comments. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!